What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Anique. I'm a classical pianist. And I know it's been a while and I'm very sorry I didn't post anything the last weeks. I was so focused on my exam, so... But now it's over. <laughs> it's done and I finally have time for other stuff. <laughs> so I wanted to do a video or actually a couple of videos about piano technique, piano mechanics, because I feel like we as pianists, we don't really have so much to do with our instrument. We are playing 88 keys, we are pushing down three pedals, but we don't really know what is happening inside, how does the piano as instrument work? So I asked Boston Pianos and Steinway and Sons for some help and I'm really happy that they support me and sponsor this video here today. So they sent me Vincent Schuster. He is concert technician for Steinway in Munich and he came here to do the whole Steinway service on my Boston grand piano. This means tuning, voicing and just like looking after all the mechanics and if everything is going fine with the instrument. And I got the chance to like ask anything I want. I think we talked about like four or five hours, so you already see um, it's a lot of information and a lot of material, which I can't put all into one video. However, in today's video, I would like to talk a little bit about the basics of tuning, explaining what you need to tune a piano and also show you how difficult it is um, by trying to do it on my own. You will see in the end of this video that it is really, really not so easy as it might look like, so please don't try to do this on your own. Um, there are people, piano tuners, piano technicians who are trained in this and this training, like it takes many, many years until you get the ear and the feeling for the instruments. You can't get the same results in just a few minutes. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. Okay, let's get started with the tuning tools. First of all, you need a tuning hammer. This is what you put on the tuning pin and by turning this handle around, you would increase the tension in the strings or release it. And by doing this, you are tuning the string. The next thing you need are muting tools. When you hit a key, there are also other strings swinging or vibrating. Therefore, you would use these so-called rubber mutes. You just put them between the strings, so these strings are getting mute. There are also different tools to mute strings, but in the end, this is like the basic tool you need to tune the piano. Now we have the tuning tools. Let's take a look at how to tune the piano basically, how is the tuning process? So first of all, you need a reference point or a reference octave. Um, and therefore you would like take the middle octave in your instrument and tune this first. And there are different tuning methods. Exactly, so, and, and, and I did the Steinway temperament, which is not the, the AA meta, which normally, um, is tuned, we fix the, the pitch, and then we start from the middle, let's say, of this temperament and work from the middle to the, yeah, to the... Extremes. The, to the extremes, mm -hmm. exactly, thanks. And fix the last points, uh, let's say in the end, or the last points, so the octave mm -hmm. is a result mm -hmm. of the complete process. So this is like the, the, the last thing that you would tune, basically. Exactly. Like, yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's a very nice way of, of working because you are really flexible mm -hmm. and you can focus very much on the sound and the ind individual uh, piano sound. Mm -hmm. Very often it's done AA, they fix it and then they, they squeeze all the, all the, um, all the intervals mm -hmm. in between the things somehow will mm -hmm. fit. Yeah, so, and eventually there's, they also have to change the A and A a little bit because it will not work out. I, I can't tell you if there is like a really, really big difference for me as a player because I never thought about this before. Um, but I think it's interesting that there are different tuning methods. Now, the next thing is that like when you're tuning one specific note, you're not just tuning this note 
on its own, you know, you have to put it in reference, you have to put it in relation with other notes. And therefore you would compare it with different intervals. The most important ones are the fourth, the fifth and the octaves. Octaves. I'm not tuning pure fifths, not even pure fourths. Basically only the octaves I'm are pure. pure. Mm -hmm. And even this we have to stretch a little bit. And like for the fifth, for example, um, we have to tune a half beat, we say, lower mm -hmm. or smaller than, than pure. This means half beat is half hertz, mm -hmm. high bass hertz. Maybe I can do a demonstration. Basically, this is the, the overtone we listen to the C. And this occurs. Now it occurs. Like it's just a matter of training, actually. What, what you listen to. I know that I should because hear if I, something, but I if, don't know what. If I, if I, if I really detune it, you will, you will notice okay. what, what I mean. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Got it. This is, and it's this, this C, this frequency where, where these two notes um, share the same frequency. Mm -hmm. okay. The fourth and the fifth are slightly higher or slightly lower tuned. If you decide to go with a slightly higher fourth, then you need a slightly lower fifth and the other way around to make everything even. By doing this slightly out of tune tuning, <laughs> you are basically creating what we pianists know as the well-tempered piano because this gives us the freedom to play in every different key on our piano. So, you know, you can just switch between all these keys because of the temperament. And this is something really beautiful and I think that's important to understand how your piano is tuned so this is enabled for us. Now, after Vincent has tuned actually the whole piano. He asked me if I would like to try to like tune just one, one single string. And I thought like, okay, this can't be so difficult. You know, it is more difficult to tune everything else. <laughs> but I thought, well, why not? Let's try this. But it turned out to be much more difficult than expected. So I, I just tune one string mm -hmm. from the C. Oh, yeah, okay. it's really that's, bad. That's <laughs> you should get the the ear for it and the feeling in mm -hmm. the tool. So that's why I think it's a good way mm -hmm. how to start. Okay, yeah, so uh, it's I guess too deep. Oh well, yeah, I, I, find I, find out. Out. <laughs> I find out. Yes, it was too deep. Yeah, exactly. You start from giving little power to mm -hmm. more and more because you feel nothing is moving. Mm -hmm. And then after a while you, you will notice a small, like a click. And then ah, you know the tuning pin is moving now. Okay. <laughs> well, for me, this already sounds pretty nice. <laughs> it's, quite, it's quite close, I would say, yes. <laughs> okay, I'll try. Oh, this was too much, I guess. That's too much. Now it's out of tune. Huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, wait. Like this? No, it's not good. <laughs> this is quite, <laughs> quite it's, weird. It's much more difficult than it looks like. <laughs> yes, it is. Indeed. It's getting closer? Very close, I would say, yeah. So if it is close like this, would you just continue? Or it, it is not good enough. No, it's not, it's good, not good enough. enough. Especially, especially because it will not last very long like this. <laughs> oh! That was yeah, a kicking! Exactly, you even heard it. Yeah. If you balance the, the, the twist, mm -hmm. you, should, you should be quite close and quite stable, I think. <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm doing. <laughs> uh huh, you feel? Like this? Yeah, well, it's uh, still a little bit out of tune, but... I would need years until I get like one octave correctly. Yes. <laughs> when, actually, when, when starting with, you need days and days for an octave only. This is why it's really important also to, to get your, your pause into something else in between. I think I just stay with this and the rest you okay. can do. <laughs> I go over it again. Yeah. <laughs>
I hope this video showed you how difficult and how complex this whole topic is. I hope nobody of you tries to do this on their own without any help, without any professional advice. Get a professional piano tuner, a professional piano technician to do the tuning for you twice a year at least. Everyone who plays more piano, like many hours a day, needs maybe a little bit more tuning in a year. I would also suggest to do like the whole piano service. For example, the Steinway service is not only tuning, but also like the voicing and like checking the whole mechanics and so on. So this I would do maybe once a year. You can also help your piano so it does not get detuned too fast. For example, put the piano into a room where the temperature and the the humidity is very stable where it is like not changing too much because then your piano is going to stay stable too in this environment so this was the video for today i hope you enjoyed it if you like it please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell i would like to continue this as a little series about piano technique piano mechanics if you have any questions about this please put it in the comments down below if you would like to support this channel and me please consider checking out my patreon the link is in the description box and also for everyone who's interested in having lessons i'm offering online master classes you will also find the link in the description box <laughs> see you in the next videos bye